Are you one of the millions of Americans who rely on supplemental security income or social security disability insurance to make ends meet? If so, you're in luck. In 2023, the Social Security Administration will be imp implementing new cash benefits that will provide much needed relief for those in need. The increase in benefits may seem modest, but it will make a real difference in the lives of those who are struggling to get by. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the big SSA update for SSI and SSDI. We'll discuss the changes that are coming in 2023, including the increase in the maximum federal benefit for SSI recipients and the cost of living adjustment for SSDI recipients. We'll also take a look at the asset limit increase for SSI eligibility, which will make it easier for more people to qualify for benefits. That's not all. The SSA will also be making changes to their trial work period threshold, medi medical improvements, review standard, and continuing disability review process. These changes are designed to make it easier for people to maintain their benefits even if their continuation improve or condition improves. So if you're curious about the extra 2023 cash money for SSI and SSDI, and want to learn more about how the changes will impact you, be sure to watch the video until the end. The new benefits are a welcome relief for those who rely on these benefits to survive and we'll discuss how they will make a difference in the lives of millions of Americans. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Also comment below. Let me know your thoughts on the SSI and SSDI information. What is the proposed bill about? The proposed bill aims to increase the monthly benefits for millions of supplemental in, uh, security income, Social Security Disability Insurance, seniors, Social Security Disability Beneficiaries, and others. These individuals have been waiting for a long time to get a raise or bonus increases in their benefits, and the bill is expected to fulfill their expectations. Apart from the bonus increase, the bill also poses excluding food from reduction uh, factor. This means that beneficiaries will have more funds for other essentials needs like rent and utilities. The Social Security Administration recognizes that many individuals receiving benefits struggle to make ends meet, especially during these difficult times of inflation. Thus, excluding food from the reduction factors would significantly help them to cope with their daily expenses. The bill has been introduced to support the most vulnerable sectors of society, including dis disabled individuals, seniors, and others. It aims to provide them with a much needed financial cushion, enabling them to lead a comfortable life. The proposed bill is a significant step towards ensuring that these individuals have access to the resources they need to live their lives with dignity. The bill has been pr proposed and it is currently accepting public comments until April 17th of 2023. It means that the public has the opportunity to express their opinions and suggestions about the proposed bill. After considering all the public comments, the Social Security Administration will finalize the bill and implement it. The proposed bill has received support from disability advocates who believe that it will bring positive change to the lives of millions of people. Disability advocates have been fighting for a long time for such changes and the proposed bill is a much relief for them. So do you support a $200 raise in the monthly benefits? The proposed bill has been has been has asked beneficiaries of supplemental security income, social security disability insurance, seniors, social security disability, and railroad retirement and veterans affairs benefits, whether they support a $200 raise in their monthly benefit. This raise has been proposed to help individuals receiving benefits, make ends meet, and cope with their daily expenses. The bill aims to support the most vulnerable sec sections of society, including disabled individuals, seniors, and others. These individuals often struggle to manage their finances and make ends meet, especially during times of inflation. A $200 raise in monthly benefits can go a long way in ensuring that these individuals have access to the resources they need to live their life with dignity. The proposed raise has been met with mixed responses from beneficiaries. Some believe that a $200 raise in monthly benefits can make a significant difference in their lives. It can help them pay their bills, buy essential items, and cover their medical expenses. For these individuals, a raise in benefits can provide much needed relief from financial stress. However, there are also some who do not support the proposed raise in benefits. They believe that a $200 raise is not enough to cover the rising cost of living, especially during times of inflation. Some also believe that the government should focus on creating jobs and improving the economy to support individuals, rather than relying solely on increased benefits. It is essential to note that the proposed raise in benefits is subject to public comments and discussion. The Social Security Administration is currently accepting public comments about the proposed bill until the 20, April 17th, 2023. What about the checks worth more than $3,000? In addition to the proposed $200 raise in monthly benefits, the Social Security Administration has also proposed changes to the way it calculates in-kind support and maintenance. In a proposed rule published 
this month in the Federal Registry, the Social Security Administration stated that it wants to upgrade its regulations to exclude food from the way it calculates in-kind support and maintenance. This change would mainly apply to people who don't get federally funded benefits like the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, also known as SNAP. The proposed changes is significant as it would leave more funds for other essential needs like rent and utilities. Many beneficiaries receiving benefits often struggle to make ends meet and the proposed change can help alleviate their financial stress. However, it is essential to note that the proposed plan does not include any changes to the way that, that supplemental security income treats assistance with shelter. This means that beneficiaries could still see their payments reduced if they do not contribute to rent, mortgage, or utility costs for the place where they live. The Social Security Administration recognizes that housing is a significant expense for many beneficiaries and has acknowledged that more needs to be done to support individuals in this area. Proposed changes are currently accepting public comments until April 23rd. And then after considering all the public comments, the Social Security Administration will finalize the changes and then implement them. So can you get advanced benefits checks? The Social Security Administration understands that many individuals receiving benefits face financial emergencies and need immediate assistance. For this reason, the agency allows for advanced benefit checks, which means that individuals can receive their checks before the actual payment date. The Social Security Administration can make an emergency payment, advance payment to new claimants who are facing a financial emergency and are due to supplemental security income benefits that are delayed or not received at all. The agency can only pay one such advance payment and the maximum emergency advance payment you will receive is the smallest of the following. The supplemental security income federal benefit rate plus any federally administer state supplement, total amount of the benefits due, the amount requested for financial emergency. It is essential to note that emergency advance payments are only available in limited circumstances and are subject to approval by the Social Security Administration. Beneficiaries who um, are facing financial emergencies and need assistance should contact their local uh, Social Security Administration office for more information. Emergency advance payments can be a lifeline for individuals facing financial emergencies. They can help individuals cover their immediate expenses and provide them with some relief from financial stress. However, it is essential to note that emergency advance payments are not a long-term solution and should not be relied upon as regular source of income. So in conclusion, the proposed bill is a big step towards helping and supporting millions of supplemental security income. Social Security Disability Insurance seniors, Social Security Disability beneficiaries, and others. It includes a $200 raise in monthly benefits and advanced benefits checks can also be claimed. However, there are still some regulations in place that need to be followed. So keep yourself informed and stay up to date with the latest developments. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.